Hi guys, it's Mark Zickrey of Space Command, and I'm here today at Space Command Studios. And I wanted to just kind of walk you through our studio a little bit when it's not busy and crazy and a hubbub of activity, and just kind of let you know where we're going in terms of the next five films and more, and uh, and just share a little bit about of, of my universe with you in a little more detail because you've been along for the ride, and, uh, and it's been quite a ride, and it's only going to get better and better and better. So that was outside the studio and this is of course our little entryway and you can see the Space Command banner and this is sort of a, just a common area where people sit and, and talk and uh, then this is a production office. Normally there are a lot of producers and accountants and all sorts of people here crunching the numbers and it's, it's usually very very intent and there's lots of computers running but today it's quiet because we're not in production and uh, we're editing the first film and we're getting ready to shoot the next one in the next few months. And here is a general work area where often when we're shooting, there's tons of people hanging out here. This is where people get their food, their, their craft services. And here is a green room for some of our stars. And, and then we're, right now we're storing some of our alien ship sets here. So from, uh, from the first Space Command film, it's, it's fun creating magic where it's magical on, on screen. And then it's just bits and pieces, construction, lumber, all these things when you're, uh, when you're not utilizing it. This is the thing I discovered when I visited the Star Trek set when I was a kid. I was amazed to see the back of these amazing sets because you could see it's just wood and metal and wire. And, uh, and the illusion is on the other side. The magic is on the other side. The other universe is on the other side of these sets. This is our... Um, prop and costume room so you can see some of the costumes that we had for our first Space Command film and all manner of aliens and you, <laughs> you name it. So uh, so we're getting ready uh, as we're editing the first film. We're about to be shooting um, Space Command Forgiveness in the next few months. And here's our little makeup area so you can see which also can sometimes double as a set and uh, now I'll walk on to our, our stages. So here's uh, and you can hear this, the sound as we get echoey because uh, this is where we, we make our magic. And uh, with Space Command Forgiveness, uh, in the first Space Command film, we established Captain Lorraine Essex. And the way that character came to be created was, uh, many of you remember that we had the Space Command talent search, and two of the, there were two roles, Captain Kemmer and Cadet Bradbury. And Captain Kemmer was a man, and uh, Cadet Bradbury could be either a male or female. But one bold actress, Sarah Marafino, auditioned for the Captain Kemmer role. And she was so distinctive and so interesting and so, and I admired her, her nerve that we had her in uh, to, uh, to, for, a, for a, a screen test and she was just wonderful. And uh, so I created the character of, of Lorraine Essex, Captain Lorraine Essex in the sister ship Templar for, for her. And, uh, and when she was uh, auditioning, she actually asked me what the, uh, what was gonna happen with this character that I was creating. And, I, and she had some suggestions which I thought were great. And, uh, and so I told her wh where I was going to take the character. So in the first episode, we see uh, Captain Jack Kemmer meets Captain Lorraine Essex, and they have the Paladin and the Templar as their ships, and they have a, a grand adventure together. But in the middle of it, Captain Essex uh, refers to an adventure she's just had that happened between when, he, when Captain Kemmer first meets her and later in the film where he re-encounters her. And it was a very traumatic, very harrowing adventure on the shakedown cruise of the Templar. And uh, so that's the second film, uh, Space Command Forgiveness, which is a Captain Essex adventure in which we, uh, we go out into some very, very foreign and alien terrain and encounter quite wonderful and horrifying and amazing things. And I'll just tell you a little bit about the beginning of the episode so that you'll know a little more than you've known before. Uh, it starts with Captain Essex being summoned on a distress call to the city of Helios, the Iron City, which is on Mercury, where a group of human beings from Earth are mining uh, iron, because uh, being an inner planet, uh, Mercury is, is largely made of iron, and they're mining it and shipping it to the outer planets, which don't have heavy metals. And this is a religious community, and one of their uh, ships of pilgrims coming to Helios has vanished mysteriously, and Captain Essex agrees to go find them. And she's accompanied ultimately by a combat synthetic named Durant, and uh, another character named Kassane the Conqueror, who has quite a dark past. And, uh, and these, of course, are great roles for some of our favorite science fiction actors, so we will see who we ultimately end up hiring for these wonderful roles. But, uh, but I just wanted to share that with you. And then, of course, after that uh, film, we jump 30 years to the Great Solar War, and then after that, we jump another 60 years to film four, Empire. And uh, that's the one with Christina Moses and Armin Shimmerman and all of the other actors that we've been talking about who you haven't yet seen in the Space Command film other than in videos we've done. <laughs> so uh, so and then after that, we'll do Harvester, which is a big 
big alien uh, piece, and then finally, and then we go back to the uh, the prequel uh, that, that goes, starts before all of these films, and the character that Mike Harney plays in the in the first film that we've just shot, uh, we jump back 30 years in that character's life and see how the whole thing got started. So it's going to be an amazing, amazing, amazing journey, and uh, and now we're building sets and redressing sets for. Uh, for forgiveness and you can be part of it you can definitely call me or email me or reach out to me in any number of ways and be even more a part of of space command forgiveness and uh... and i love the fact that we're selling shares at an affordable rate for most people because you know mo most films it's millionaires and billionaires and and big banks and consortiums that put up the money and get to be part of this dream but i very deliberately with both with the uh... the kickstarter campaign and and in designing the, the, the investment shares, I designed the shares at $7,500, and I'm selling 70 of them uh, for, the, for the second Space Command film. And, and it allows everyone who's a science fiction fan, everyone who's been part of this dream growing up, to be part of a dream continuing on, <laughs> part, of, part of our shared dream. And, uh, and that's, that's terrific. I mean, it's uh, because uh, you know, it was interesting. I was talking to uh, Robert Altman's producing partner about a year ago, and he told me that on Robert Altman's last film, uh, he gathered his, his cast together, and it was an amazing cast, Meryl Streep and many very famous stars, Woody Harrelson, and he said, you're here for the right reasons because we can't afford to pay you for the wrong reasons. And, uh, and that's how I feel about Space Command. I don't think anyone is working on Space Command for the buck. We're doing it for the love of it. Uh, and many of you know I've been working for several years on Space Command for free, for free. And fortunately, my life allows me that, uh, that great, great gift because I don't begrudge that at all. I love living the dream, creating the dream, sharing the dream. So I just kind of wanted to little, give you a little walk and talk. You can see bits and pieces of our studio in this, uh, in the, when it's all shut down, when it's all quiet here. It's, uh, it's really very, very fun. This is a bigger spaceship than I had when I was a kid. My, my stepfather, Ray, built me my own little spaceship, which was just big enough for two kids. Uh, I write about that in the Making of Space Command book, which I'll be sending out the initial chapters of to, uh, to those who've, who've ordered it and requested it very, very soon. But, um, but that's it for now. I, uh, you know, I hope you've enjoyed this little walk-through tour of our Space Command studios. For me, it's, a, it's really quite wonderful. And, uh, but I wanted to just thank all of you because, uh, as I say often, none of this would be possible without you. And it's true. It's absolutely true. So, um, so that's it for now. Mark Zikri of Space Command. Mark Zikri, Mr. Sci-Fi. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me or, or reach out to me in any way you'd like to. Uh, your family, all of you are part of my family. And we're all making this dream come true. So thanks very much, and I'll talk to you really soon. Bye-bye.